Welcome to this overview of Shapes 5.7. Let's jump right into the first and most important update, which brings good news to all Windows users. The symmetry mapping has been rebuilt and is now able to handle meshes with higher poly counts. It even gets better, because the new algorithm is up to three times faster with single shell meshes. And remember, this is only for the first time loading the mesh. Once the mapping exists for the mesh, all mirroring actions can be performed without calculation time. The next more obvious changes have been made to the interface. New filter buttons can now be found at the top of the target list. These help to focus on particular target shapes or combinations of features such as driver types, combos or weight map dependencies. Easily find all set driven key control shapes or all members of a particular combo shape. All filters can be reset by right-clicking any of the filter buttons. There's also now a new case sensitivity toggle when searching for target shapes and drivers. The buttons for resizing any list now feature a right-click menu which allows to set each list to a predefined size. The reason for this is a rare Maya bug which causes a list to only grow but not shrink anymore. Should this happen, the menu allows to bring the list back to a usable size. Below the target list, the two menus for additional actions have been merged to one for better accessibility. When in edit mode with a symmetry map mesh, a new symmetrize button is available, which allows for quick mirroring of the current edit without having to leave the edit mode. Since some tools don't offer symmetrical modeling, this can become a handy feature. And since it's based on the existing symmetry mapping, it's very fast as well. Another bigger change is the handling of shape drivers. In previous versions, the driver list was an essential element to the workflow, but also used precious space. With version 5.7, the driver list now only plays a secondary role. With this update, the shape driver selection runs through a single field, which also has a right-click menu for additional options. Simply pull your driver name through the selected node in the scene or type in the name of the node. Furthermore, a direct connection has been added as a new driver type in cases where a driving one-to-one -one relationship is sufficient. When setting up a driver for a target shape, which matches the name of the shape driver attribute, the driving attribute name is automatically selected in the list of attributes. Finally, when working with weight or region maps, it can be helpful to quickly find the map file in the file system. The map list right-click menu now contains a new item, which allows to navigate to where the map file is stored. Enjoy the new possibilities of Shapes 5.7 and thanks for watching.